Query rules are a powerful addition to the ranking formula to gain an even finer control over results returned to the end users. This short video will explain the core principle of this feature, while the following two will focus on specific applications, merchandising and user query interpretation. The logic behind query rules is straightforward. You set up rules that are composed of two parts, a condition and a consequence. If condition X is met, then apply consequence Y. With that process, specific behaviors or edge cases that were previously very hard to deal with are now solved in an elegant way. One thing to mention is that query rules are not meant to replace a good ranking strategy, but they can prove very useful to solve tricky edge cases or specific needs where ranking only doesn't help. Use cases such as auto filters, removing custom stop words or adding merchandising rules, displaying custom banners are now really easy to achieve. Quick note, we will be showing the query rule setup on the dashboard because it is more visual and accessible to all, but everything that we do here can also be done via the API. For a rule to be triggered, it has to meet a specific condition, and defining this condition is the first step of setting up a query rule. Conditions are composed of two elements, a query pattern and a context. The query pattern consists of one or multiple tokens treated as a phrase. There are two types of allowed token. Literal, that is a plain word that must appear exactly as is. And facet value placeholder, this will match any value of a given facet in the same index. For this to work, the facet must have been declared first in the attribute for faceting. The second part of the condition is the context in which it should trigger. This is optional and allows us to enable the rule only for a subset of queries. For example, in a specific category of an e-commerce web store. A rule's consequence can be one or multiple actions in sequence performed on the query itself or on the results. I'm going to highlight the main ones, but feel free to refer to the documentation for a more in-depth look. The add query parameters consequence allows you to add any number of any valid search parameters to the query. The automatic facet filters consequence transforms a facet value placeholder into a facet filter. The value from the query, as captured by the placeholder, is used as the value for the facet filter. The remove a word from the query string consequence allows you to define a word that you want to be stripped of the query. If the removed word has multiple occurrences in the query string, then all occurrences will be removed. With the promote specific hits consequence, one or multiple objects of the same index are promoted to predefined positions in the result set. Finally, Display specific info consequence allows you to return a custom JSON object along the results to display things like promotional banners. Now that we've covered the query rules mechanism and what it can act on, let's see it in action. In the following video, we're going to use it on an e-commerce example for merchandising purposes.